let's look at the best practices now for building the model efficiently what can we do to quickly build a model use the keyboard shortcut while building as well as checking the model this is very important a lot of times use time is lost just shuffling between the keyboard and the mouse and back to the keyboard this is one single important tool the keyboard shortcuts which allows you to save a lot of time and building the model efficiently always build a template first and then reuse it whenever adding a new sheet in your model or whenever adding a new calculation in your model this ensures that you have consistent columns for all the years in your model for example if you have projection period as 2014 to 2020 and in the template you have dedicated column f for 2014 and column l for 2020 then if you are going to reuse the template your years will always be represented by these columns this is very important check whenever you are linking numbers across sheets you will always associate column f with 2014 and if you are linking numbers from another sheet then generally you are linking the same years across all the sheets and the link which includes f as the column ensures that you are following the columns consistently if the link does not have column f and there is no substantial reason for that then you will easily be able to identify the errors which are in the form of incorrect linking consistent time ruler for the model you should have one single time ruler either quarterly or annual throughout the model sometimes you need to project the numbers on a quarterly basis and then convert them into annual in such a case you can have two time rulers in the model however the annual results are drawn only at the output level data alignment the numbers should generally be aligned to right hand side the text value should be aligned to the left hand side the headings sometimes can be centrally aligned or left aligned consistency in signs always ensure that you have the same sign across all the expenses and reductions this is important because your formulas are dependent on this formulas like margins or closing balances are consistent only if you follow a consistent sign convention throughout the model all the formulas across the same row in all the columns across the same row have to be same if they are different for example sometimes first formula could be different or formula in the first column could be different you need to highlight the same these are the best practices which have to be followed and if followed properly they ensure a model which is simple accurate easy to understand and has a logical flow and it is also flexible and dynamic depending upon the requirement let's look at the don'ts once again please note that you should never ever have hard coded number inside a formula or within a formula this is a cause of potential error and you should definitely avoid this whenever you feel the need for including any new hard coded number or an assumption please use the assumptions sheet or inputs sheet for the same at least create a separate cell for putting in the hard coded numbers and then you can link these cells to the calculations you should not 
hide rows or columns or calculations they are difficult to trace for a user you can use the data grouping as an alternative instead of making complicated formulas formula you can break them down in small steps use constant assumptions repetitively what does this mean you should not use constant assumptions repetitively for example if you have one assumption defined in the input sheet always make it a point that you have all the dependent calculations driven from the same cell rather than creating different levels of that assumption throughout different sheets for example if i'm using a particular exchange rate in my calculations then i should define it only once in the inputs i should not keep on defining the exchange rate in different sheets always collate it all in the input sheet you should not duplicate calculations on different sheets this again could be a reason for potential errors you should not use a lot of circularity and a lot of macros they can break the model down sometimes they can also make the model slow plus it is difficult for all the users to understand the macros and coding that you have done in the model so they are better lesser used or avoided you should not have overuse of counter flows in the model we looked at counter flows some time back and what do we mean by counter flows is that when we are defining the logical convention that is from left to right and top to down then that is called as a counter flow they should definitely be highlighted but your model should not have a lot of counter flows so with that we finish the do's and don'ts and the best practices to be followed while creating the financial model 2021